All right, Tube. Seems like it's been forever since I made a video. Uh, I had to go back home, help my dad out. My stepmom passed away, and yeah, I haven't had time to mess with this, so apologies. Uh, gentle reminder, the rig as it is. Got her pretty well leveled out. Obviously doors are in. And I was able to, there's my little fold down gadget. And we'll go into this one a little bit. This bay is for the heating system. And I've got an exhaust hole drilled in the aluminum and then I've got uh, holes drilled through the frame for the heating lines that will be heating not only the coach but the hot water and a preheat for the engine and the engine can actually preheat all the above so those are my feed and return lines for all of those and basically all I did is drill through the, through the frame put in a PVC sleeve so I don't have any wear and tear on my uh, tube and yeah So what I've got going on is I'm gonna glue in a little PVC sleeve and my heater hose for the bays, the engine preheat, and the cabin are all gonna get plumbed through here, obviously so I don't get them torn up on the metal. And I've got six holes, 12 technically. Six sleeves I'm putting through to the other side and that'll be a sealed bay that I can run my plumbing through up to wherever it's got to go. So there you go. So I have to say worked out pretty dang well. There's my six holes. That drill has drilled a ton of holes in this rig and even years before, that drill has just kicked butt. So very happy with that. Obviously a little WD-40 lubricant goes a long way on saving your drill bits. Cocked them in, there's the backside going into the heated bay area. And from here we'll kind of plumb things through and back down the end of the coach. And But yeah, we'll do an aerial view of the bay without falling through the truck. So we got our little slide out arm going. That's our tool bay. What's up, buddy? Hi, Ratch. There we go. There's the hydronic bay getting put together. Booyah, YouTube.
What's up, buddy? So you want to know what's going in the heating bay? This little guy is going in the heating bay. It is an Oasis NE made by International Thermal Research. And this guy is a diesel fired hydronic heating system for the coach. And the reason this thing is incredibly incredible is because it's one fuel, so the rig has diesel, obviously. And then this runs off of diesel, so that's it, no propane in the rig whatsoever. And this thing's got three, one, two, three, four different, three different heating systems in it. One of them is for the engine heat, and it'll preheat the motor um, on cold winter days. And the motor will actually preheat the heating system. Um, as you're going down the road, so if you're driving a long distance and park for the night, your hot water and your coach will be warm already. Uh, it's got a heating loop one and two for different zones, and they are for the coach, for the cabin area, for the bathroom, the living room, the bedroom, and for the bays. And what that runs is these little guys right here. I think I've got five of these. And they're basically radiators. Uh, I got two fans on the back side, 12 volt fans. Uh, antifreeze goes in and out through the guy and runs through the fins. And they're all thermostat controlled. So once they get to a certain temperature, they kick on and obviously heat the area that they're designated to heat to whatever temperature they're supposed to. Um, and then last but not least, I've got uh, domestic hot water. So for my obviously shower and kitchen sink and bathroom sink, uh, it'll heat the water to 120 degrees at a rate of three gallons a minute. So it will keep up basically constant water, endless water. Um, if I'm hooked up to a RV park or water supply and don't have to worry about the amount of water I'm using, this thing will keep up endlessly. Uh, it also has two 110 elements that will heat if you are hooked into shore power instead of using diesel. So this thing is flipping incredible. It's about 36 inches wide, 20 inches deep, and I guess about 14 inches tall, give or take. Might be 15 or 16 to the top of these guys. And it will fit into that bay where I drill the holes and put the sleeves in. It'll be a snug fit. Uh, there's certain parameters that have to be met as far as distance from whatever and we have that met uh, exhaust is right here and that guy basically goes in the bottom and underneath the uh, bay and vents out the back of the bay and then down to the ground that's it kids that is the next big project Pl putting this guy in and plumbing the little bastard up I can't wait So, what's on the agenda for next week? I think we're gonna do a little plumbing update. Got some plumbing in there and some tanks. Kinda go over that. There's my outlet for it. And hopefully have the heater bay all set and plumbed in. With that little oasis in there. Running my heaters. We'll see what happens. But regardless, I'm back, baby. <laughs>